All right, sure, it's a beautiful autumnal day in Southland. The kids look happy, family look happy. It looks like a good lifestyle move so far. Yeah, no, really enjoying the move down um, to Invercargo and the weather's been beautiful while we've been here. So yeah, all happy in, in, in camp at the moment. Kids settle in school, obviously that's important to keep them happy. Yeah, no, they've been really good. Um, had some really good, made some really good friends in the short time they've been here. So yeah, no. It's a big change for you because you're a big yep. city girl, aren't you? I sure I am. Yeah, no, it's, um, it was quite a daunting thing when I just when I was deciding, but um, it's definitely proving to be a positive for me at the moment. All right. I know you're born in Auckland, aren't yep. you? Yep. Um, family size is quite significant. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of brothers up, and I've got there's eight of us children up there, and I've got probably I think we're sitting about 15 or 16 nieces and nephews within the family. So it was really hard leaving all of them, especially that most of us are based in Auckland. So, okay. but um, yeah, hopefully it'll prove. Um, better on the other side. We know, you know Sister Grace is, yep. a, is a good netball, but what about the sporting talent elsewhere in the family? Yeah, no, um, all of us girls play um, netball. Um, we've got a club team up there that we represent for New Jacks, which is... Um, do you make up the whole team? We you? pretty much, <laughs> and plus a couple of cousins. <laughs> but yeah, no, we've, we've played on that for a, few, for a wee while now, and um, the, my brother plays a bit of rugby, and the other boys play a bit of basketball. So, oh. yeah, no. And that sporting boring. talent comes from what, mum, dad, or both? Um, probably both. I, I'd better say both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be watching this. <laughs> so, uh, school-wise, uh, where did you start? Um, went to Owaraka Primary School in Mount Albert, and then we moved um, into Avondale, we, where I went to Avondale, Intermediate and then on to Avondale College. Yeah, Avondale College is a mixed school. Yeah, uh, uh, yep, co ed, co -ed um, one of the, I think it might be the second or third biggest school in um, Auckland, actually, right. in New Zealand. Maybe. Did um, you always just play netball? Or do you... um, yeah, I play a bit of basketball. Um, I went to went with the New Zealand under 20s to the Sydney Youth Cup, um, and but yeah, sort of just casually now. Try to play a bit of touch, but uh, <laughs> leave that for the short, quicker ones. <laughs> All right, uh, when you left school, uh, were you targeted by a club or you have a club in mind? Yeah, um, I was, I've was. i played with the uh, Auckland Diamonds, so I played all my franchise up up there before I went there, um, before I carried on. So and straight just, from school to the Auckland Diamonds? Yeah, I was playing in from fifth form. Fifth form, right. um, I was within the with the Diamond squad and within the New Zealand. So you were, what, 15, 16? Yeah, 15, 15. Yeah. In the That's young Diamonds. for uh, playing amongst... Uh, yeah, it was. Players. I did start really young, but I had a lot of... Um, Played with a lot of you know the great players like Anna Robry, Kerry Adams, and yeah, was had well supported. Must have been quite intimidating for you. Yeah, it was very, very, especially being the youngest in the team, and they definitely um, put me in my place for a bit. <laughs> but I wrote it out, and I get to hopefully do a bit of that now. Because <laughs> right. you stayed with that franchise for a long time, didn't you? Yeah, I've been with Auckland um, for probably about maybe 10 plus years now. Right. So this is the first time I've sort of headed away, other than playing um, as a replacement player for the um, Pulse. So that was straight through in the Diamonds entire era, yep. and then Mystics evolved. Yep. Didn't so it? National Bank, right through National Bank, and then um, the ANZ Championships. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what about court positions? How many of those have you played? Um, I actually started off as a goal shoot, goal attack, right. and with the news, was selected in the New Zealand Under 21s. But we had the likes of Jody. Jody Tahuna or Jody Brown now, or Dean Harper, Danika Whippity, all in there. So I got shoved down goal defence, goal keep by Georgina Salta, and um, here I am. Right. And were you happy about the move? <laughs> yeah, I always like the you know the glory shots and that and goal shoot, and every now and then I try and get back in there with within my club teams. But um, yeah, no, happy happy that I'm in that defensive end. So where will we see you with a steal? What position mostly? Um, hopefully goal defence, goal keep, um, definitely in that. Um, in, the, in that uh, defensive circle. I don't think I'll be um, holding my breath against Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, important, isn't it? Because uh, experience is light in the defensive yeah. end, so they're looking for you for that? Yeah, they've definitely got a, um, a young a, a young defensive end with um, all the New Zealand 21 skills, but I'm definitely willing to give as much as I can and hopefully lead from the front and, um, and, and help where I can. What are your playing style? I know some people say you're quite aggressive, uh, quite yeah. suitable on court. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, is that true? yeah, um, yeah, no, I won't lie. I'm definitely, um, I'm one of those all-in kind of guys, and sometimes it may pull off aggressive, but I just like to show presence in there. As, as a defence, I think that's our job to um, be a menace to the shooters and get into their minds, and um, that's something where I'll be able to use without getting involved with the refs. <laughs> Is that something that comes from being in an eight-child family, yeah. uh, fighting for food? <laughs> yeah, I think you've got to definitely tough it out, and, and my brothers and sisters, I've played with a lot of them, and you know they, they always have high expectations of you and always... Um, pushing you around, so you've got to hold your own, be able to hold your own in that. So you've had a little bit of other you know, franchise experience, yep. um, So, what, but what was the key thing that got you down here? 
Um, I think just the opportunity to um, try and try something new. I've been in Auckland for a long time, and sometimes you can um, start plateauing and sort of be running through the motions. And I'm not getting any younger, so I think um, the move was um, was a big decision. But I'm really really stoked that I made that decision. Really enjoying it. And the chances are you get a lot of game time. That's yeah, hopefully uh, that, that's definitely up. Um, another opportunity to play play but like everyone else you know you can't be guaranteed court time so um, I just need to make sure that I'm doing everything that I that I can be. Because you, know, you make out you're eight year old but you're not you're still in your yeah, mid, no, mid, mid 20s. Definitely uh, yeah. But you've just oh, a lot, a lot yeah. of experience when you start yeah, at 15. Just, yeah definitely so it's probably age and age in netball in the netball years so I've been around yeah. You've had some New Zealand experience or yeah. 2018? Yeah so I've been involved in the New Zealand under 21 I've been to two world Cap, world championships World Youth Championships um, and one with the World Cup in Jamaica with Samoa. Mm. But yeah, um, played in the New Zealand Academy, so yeah, had a bit of that experience too, so I've been very blessed. So you're looking uh, for other opportunities at that level? Do you think that door's still open for you? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, my first and foremost um, goal is to perform well for the steel, and if any higher honours come, I definitely won't be saying no. no <laughs> what about the feel amongst the team? I know you had the, that very good tournament in Australia yeah. where you were tested. Yeah. Yeah, no, it seems looking really good. We um, It was a good way to get out and try some combinations. We A lot of us um, are quite new to each other and haven't played um, with each other, so um, Melbourne was definitely a good measure for us as a team and um, looking, look, yeah, pretty happy. Still got a lot to work on, but um, looking happy for our um, big game next week. And we've, we've already talked to Janelle, um, yep. good to have that height at the, the Oh, end, definitely. It? It's always good as a goal defence. If you're running out of space and running down court, you can just throw it yeah. to the airs and hope and pray that you know she'll get it. But she's been yeah, so, absolutely solid in there. Well, you would have practised against her in the, in the defensive mode. Yeah. Um, and she, is she, because the thing about the ANC Championship, you've got to be tough, don't you? Yeah, Mentally definitely. and physically tough. Yeah, def- is that showing through? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, I think... Her leaving her daughter in Jamaica is, is a, me- a sign of mental toughness straight away. But um, yeah, she's definitely in there, right? Getting getting stronger. We you know we're giving it to her heaps as well, and just to so she so she is prepared for um, what she's going to meet up in to the ANZ Championships, and she's giving it right back. So no, she's definitely toughening up. Well, especially when you play the Australians, because we know they're pretty rugged, aren't they? Yeah, yeah definitely. So. They we just need to make sure that we're trying to mimic as much as we can to the competition, so that once we do play and we're forcing each other in each in each training. So once we do play, we're you know it's not we're not um, we're not stunned by the physicality mm. of the game. Well, you've seen netball come a long way in your time. You've seen it from semi-professional with the diamonds yep. and to, to fully professional now. Yeah, definitely. How, how's the game itself changed in that time? Um, it's definitely a lot harder and faster. I think it's a lot more um, telling on the body as well with the training and, and just the type of physicalness that the game's brought. But um, all in all, it's a lot a lot faster and a lot, uh, <laughs> a lot stronger now. What about the significance of a New Zealand team now having won? Um, they've got five times their population, so yeah. winning once every five years seems about right for us. Yeah. It's a good achievement, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I know it's been a long time coming, but hopefully that's a start for um, a few more to the New Zealand side as opposed to the Australians, so hopefully it'll boost our, boost our numbers. You've had a look at all the squads. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think it's even this year, or are there some, some strengths? Yeah, I think there's definitely, it's a lot more evenly spread. Um, I know the Pulse, you know, are one of the teams to be talked about at the moment. But um, yeah, I just think New Zealand based and Australian after playing in Melbourne um, is a lot, more, a lot more evenly spread out in competition wise. Which we're right outside of netball. Yep. What do you do to amuse you apart from look after the <laughs> apart from family? Apart from look after the family, um, I work at ANZ. I was working in ANZ um, in Auckland for um, five years, and they were really flexible with me coming in and out of work and the odd days playing in their championship. and playing in their <laughs> championship. So that was an added bonus. But yeah, so. Um, probably a bit of that, and a lot of a lot of my extra other time is just a lot of use and family, and yeah. How much life do you think you have in the sport? I'm hoping uh, injury, being injury free, maybe a couple couple more years. I'm giving it a couple more years, hopefully. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it in there for now. <laughs> Some people can last to 40. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We've got the, not defenders, though. No, no. <laughs> we've got the Irene Van Dykes, who are probably one of a kind, and the Tim Parry Georges. But um, yeah, hopefully, I just think I'll be just taking a year at a time, and we'll see how it goes from there. It comes down to enjoyment. While yeah. you're still enjoying it, still playing. Abs- yeah, definitely, yeah. absolutely. As long as the, I'm still enjoying it and the body's still holding up, mm. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be playing. Mm.